So, what do we have today? Breakfast of champions. Bacon. Bacon, but not bacon. Bacon, bacon but not bacon? Well, yeah, bacon, not bacon. But in this, in this case, in this case, it's supposed to be a sorry, not sorry kind of deal because it's veggie bacon. Yeah, uh, this. You know what? Out of all the ones we've tried, this is probably probably the biggest because if these guys can pull off bacon, bacon that's not seaweed or algae. <laughs> yeah, but. Healthy bacon. I mean, think about it. Well, this bacon that's not going to yeah. clog your arteries, but it tastes like bacon. I mean, if they and they're can really get this good. Down, they're really good reviews on this already. Mm -hmm. There are like 120 some reviews on Google that that praise these uh, products from Sweet Earth. Okay, this is not easy to open. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's supposed to be easy to open, but it's not easy to open. Yeah, um, I'm. We've had this in the freezer for for a while, and um, a week or two. A week or two, yeah. It, it's one that I'm very excited about because if they can, if this tastes like bacon, I mean, this is going to be incredible because. Oh yeah, I'm buying buckets of this you can stuff. Enjoy, yeah, you can <laughs> enjoy bacon without clogging your arteries, you know. Uh, oh. It's very saucy. Very saucy, yeah. It's all over my fingers. Now, uh, this is supposed to be thawed, so I thawed it. And it's supposed to be cooked, supposedly, the directions say, a lightly oiled non-stick pan. So, Which we have prepared there. Okay. Medium heat. Let's see. How well the... Oh, not bad. Hmm. They do seem to uh, stay together fairly well, huh? Oh, a little bit of breakage. Yeah, you just have to be careful taking them out of the pack, I think. Yeah. That's... Yeah, it looks... It looks like meat. Not I don't sure. have to be excessively careful with them. No. I'm not sure quite looks like bacon, but it definitely looks like meat. What does it smell like? Smoky. Smoky. Very smoky. Nice. So like sm Yeah, I can get it from here. The usual Oop. sizzle test. Ooh. There we go. About wow. That sounds like bacon frying. Two minutes per side. And you get a, a generous amount of them per pack, don't you? And how much were these? Uh, I don't remember what the price was. This is total five and a half ounces. Okay. Which isn't bad since, you know, we're we're down to about um, two and a half ounces of meat each um, per meal. Realistically, we should be down to two per meal because we eat twice a day. Yeah. They smell nice. They do. They smell, they have a, a, a hickory, a sweet kind of hickory. I don't get sage. It's... No. I don't get sage off it, but the hickory smell is yeah, definitely, definitely there. there. Yeah, if this tastes like smoked bacon, it's just going to be incredible. I think they might need to work on their... Uh, because of bacon, Stick I mean, it's... Stick it togetherness a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, when you touch that there, it looks kind of fatty bacon-like, so... Yeah, I 
mean, it doesn't have the fatty strips that you no. find in bacon. But that's good. I mean, I think peop people definitely eat bacon for the taste. Yes. They don't, you know, they don't, you know, like the side effects of it. But, no. Um, it is one of the most incredibly tasty foods. So, if this works. Right, let's flip them over. Yeah, they do become more delicate when they're cooked. Yeah, until they're fully cooked, maybe. So, be gentle. Yeah, they definitely become... Yeah, and definitely use a non-stick pan if you. If we uh, yeah, use the if other we had pan, used the stainless steel pan, these would have just yeah, been just nothing be but mush. And stuck to the bottom. Two minutes. They definitely look nice, don't they? They do. They look nice, and they smell very nice. Yeah. They and I can see a little bit. I can see a little bit of bubbling here, which you know that imitates bacon. Yeah. I can still get a little veggie smell off them. It smells hickory to me. Hmm, I'd be using plates, not bowls. These again are the non-cooked ones. Not long now. I don't think you can realistically expect these to be the same crispiness as bacon. No. Maybe I'm not frying them on high enough, but they said medium. Yeah. So I've got it, I mean, I've got it on medium. It's really about taste, anyway. It is. It is. And I can try cooking the other, the second batch, a little harder. I mean, rashers in Ireland, you know, uh, they're not like American bacon. That's, you know, I mean, that's just crisp. Rashers are more like these, kind of. Which is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Yeah, this is the big one. Can they replicate the taste of bacon? We've never tried these before. We're not sponsored by them. We bought these ourselves. seem to be sticking together pretty well after they're cooked. Yeah. Not bad. And they do, they do look like bacon. Kind of. Alright. Okay, so. Let's see. It's got a fairly much the same texture as almost everything we've tried. Yeah. I'm not getting any chemically taste off it. That's a good. A lot of hickory. Lots and lots. 
And once you start eating, the sage comes out. For me, this is an acceptable substitute for bacon. It's not, oh my God, I'm gonna hit the ground because it's so much like bacon. Yeah. But the taste, definitely at like a 95 out of 100. Excellent. See how. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. It's a funny texture, isn't it? Hmm. I get the. I, I can't smell the sage. Oh, I can definitely taste it. They're really tasty. Nice amount of salt, just like bacon. Lovely hickory. But, like you said, they're a good substitute, but they're not quite there yet. Um, but they're definitely very tasty. And if you wanted to have a bacon-like product, but I uh, didn't want this bad side effects of bacon, definitely go for these. Would you put them on a burger? Oh yeah, I'd say they'd go very well with a burger, yeah. The other meat, yeah. They're, yeah. I don't know how they do crumbled, but. Maybe I'll maybe and I'll try the second with a meal like um, maybe I'll try maybe I'll try a little bit um, for dinner on the pasta on top of the pasta with tuna. If you kind of crumbled it up and put yeah. it on top of, yeah, that'll be lovely. Yeah, D done like that. I'd say beautiful. They're they're really tasty, really tasty. Yeah, and as they cool off, they congeal more, so yeah. they get easier to eat well definitely getting the thumbs up from us sweet earth benevolent bacon definitely worth trying okay thanks for watching Okay, just back for a quick one. Get your idea from earlier. Well, here is the uh, the pasta, and this is a tomato white sauce with tuna. Oh, it smells lovely. And I've chopped up the last three uh, bits of bacon, strips of, of bacon, benevolent bacon, into pieces. Bacon, that's not bacon. It's much easier to chop it up if it's been cooked a little longer than they tell you to cook it until it's a bit crispy. Mm. Um, when it's not crispy, it's, it's pretty darn difficult to get through with a knife. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be tasty. Of course, unlike normal bacon, we don't have to worry about piling it on. You can have as much as your dietary needs allow you allow yeah. you to have. So. Let's see how well it goes with white sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, it's really good, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I'm more and more impressed by the smokiness in this bacon. Seriously impressed with the smokiness in this bacon. <laughs> Great job, guys. Pasta? A-okay.
Excellent. Yep. That's thumbs up. Okay. Well, we leave it there so and have uh, have our dinner. Our bacon, that's not bacon. Again, thanks for watching, guys.